Hey guys, what's up? Quick heads up. Um, this video is about your BMR. Why it's important to know your BMR, your basic metabolic rate. That's um, pretty much the amount of calories your body burns on a daily basis when you're not doing anything. As you all know, your body burns calories for various activities, whether you at rest or in movement. Now, for example, say you're home all day. Well, you need calories to even sleep. You need calories to sit down. Your body needs calories to do all kinds of things, digest food and stuff like that. Um, most people, for example, me, I'm 5'8", 158, 160 pounds. My basic metabolic rate is about, metabolic rate, is about 17 or 1800. That's on a regular day while I'm just being a cash potato and a lazy bum all day. My body will burn at least 1800 calories just to keep me alive and to keep, you know, you know, my, um, different, you know, bodily functions active. Uh, it's important to know your BMR because depending on your goal, whether you're trying to gain weight or lose weight, you need to know, for example, if you want to gain weight, you need to have a calorie surplus. You need to eat more calories than your body burns. If you're trying to um, lose weight, you want to have less calories at the end of the day than your, you know, than your body um, needs. For example, um, to maintain, the basic metabolic rate pretty much is how many calories your body needs just to maintain its current weight. If you want to stay the same weight, and your BMR is 2,000, that means you only need 2,000 calories a day to just stay the same way. If you want to gain weight, then you could increase your intake to 2,500, so you have a 500 calorie surplus at the end of the day. Over a week, you gain about, let's see, there's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. So divide that by five, about in seven days, you'll gain a pound if you have a 500 calorie surplus every day. You know, um, I'm going to put a link in the description to show you to this website. It's pretty good and you know, it helps you calculate your BMR. Um, very important to know that if you're trying to build muscle like me, I'm trying to gain weight, I'm trying to gain muscle mass, you must be at a calorie surplus. I don't care if you're eating proteins, carbs, everything you need. If you're not a calorie surplus, meaning your body doesn't have all the energy it needs to, main, to, to, to at least maintain its current weight, let alone increase, what's going to happen is you're going to lose muscle. Your body's going to go catabolic. Your body's gonna use um watch my video on catabolism. Your body's gonna destroy your muscles for energy because having muscles requires too many too much too many calories to maintain. Um so you wanna build muscle, make sure you have a calorie surplus so your body has more than enough energy. So your body your body's not gonna fuck with your muscles for energy. And your body's gonna go into an anabolic state, you know, when you have a calorie surplus, your body's gonna start repairing and building your muscles because, you know. The first step to rebuilding muscle is being at a decent energy level, you know? If your energy level is not high, you're not taking enough calories in, enough carbs and, you know, healthy carbs and stuff like that, and you're not at a good energy level, you're not gonna build muscle. Because muscle, put it this way, muscle, the more muscle your body has, the more energy your body needs, right? So if you had a, if you have, you're trying to put on muscle, but you don't have enough energy, your body's gonna be like, fuck the muscle, we need energy. Energy is a priority. Energy's priority has priority over muscle. So if you don't have a, a, enough energy, enough calories, your body's not even gonna try to build muscle. It's gonna destroy it, you know? So first step to building muscle is calorie surplus. Calorie surplus, you wanna take in, you wanna be above your BMR. If your BMR is 2,000, you wanna be at least 2,500, you know, every day. Uh, plus, your BMR is only, say your BMR is 2,000, right? Your body burns 2,000 calories just on a regular day where you're not doing anything. The reason why you wanna be above that is because, um, what if you go to the gym and work out? Now you're burning like 500 or probably more calories, right? And you only took 2,000. So just do the math. You you know you you know you um you burned 2,500 calories that day. 2,000 for your BMO, 500 for the for the gym, and you only took in 2,000. You below your BMO. So your body's gonna destroy that muscle. It's gonna destroy other muscle groups in your body for energy. So remember, calculate your BMO. Find the description box, I mean, find the link at the description, in the description box, calculate your BMR, and based on that, you can figure out, depending on your goal, how, many, how much weight you're trying to gain, how much weight you're trying to lose, you can calculate around that, you know? Like I said, I'm, my BMR is 1,800, close to 2,000, so if I want to build muscle, I want to eat above 2,000. And right now, I'm in, I'm in a bulking phase, where I'm really trying to put on mass for the, you know, for the, for the winter. I'm gonna make a video about that. I need to be at a calorie surplus of at least a thousand, because that's how fast I'm gonna gain weight. Yes, fat is gonna come along with it, but I, 
burning fat is not a problem for me. I know exactly what I need to do to burn fat. But anyway, I'm going to make different videos about bulking and cutting and all that crap. But going, you know, look in the description box and um, calculate your BMR. And every day you want to be above your BMR if you want to gain weight. And you want to be below your BMR if you want to lose weight. All right? Take care.